Hello, I'm Kevin Parsons. I'm Senior Product Manager here at Leviton, uh, Lighting and Energy Solutions. And today's topic is GreenMax Digital Switch Engraving. I'll be introducing you to the engraving process that needs to be followed for all GreenMax engraving orders. This includes single gang devices as well as multi gang devices. So in front of you, we have our selection of multi-gang wall plates and single stations. So the color change kit that we have is a two-button white station. Now these color change kits are available in single button, two button, and four button. To facilitate the engraving process, we've created some PDF forms that need to be filled out and submitted for engraving. The first form I'm going to introduce you to is a form that would be used for a single gang device. Single gang device is available in multiple colors, white, black, light almond, gray, ivory, and red. These can be ordered with a contrasting color of lettering. They can be white or black. And all of these choices can be filled out on the form and selected on the form. It is imperative the electronic form be filled out completely with all information. One form is required for each individual single gang device. If you have a multiple gang device, let's say perhaps two digital switches that were going to be mounted and installed at one location, you need to fill out two separate forms to cover the information on the buttons. The wall plate will require a separate form that we'll talk about in a second. Back to this single gang form, there are areas on the form that need to be filled out for contact information, your name, how do we get a hold of you. You can put your email address in the contact line, you can put your phone number, however you would like to be contacted in case there's questions on the forms that we need to clarify. Please complete the bill to information. Standard information required, name, company, address. The project information is collected on the right hand side of the form. It's very important that we have a project name and then an order number that we can tie all of this together before we ship it. The shipping information is critical as well. The name of the job site, the company that it goes to, or the contact at the company, that should be filled in in the ship to information. If it's the same information as the billing address, then simply check the checkbox and we'll use the bill to information for shipping. Now, since one form is required for each and every device, in an individual device, you can select by checking one of the checkboxes for the button configuration that you're ordering. On the left-hand side of the form is the space where you would check for the single button device. The middle device is the two button and of course the four button on the right-hand side. You'll notice the location of the engraving that's shown on these diagrams. If a single gang wall plate is required, please fill out this form completely in the designated locations. You'll note that on the wall plate, you're allowed two lines of 12 characters each. Now, one of the reasons we want to use the electronic form is because those fields that you fill in are limited to those 12 characters and it will cut off whatever you've entered once you reach that 12th character. On the buttons, you have a different count. You're allowed two rows of eight characters in length for each of the buttons. On a single button device, there are two locations that you can specify, either at the top of the button or about the midpoint on the button, whichever location you prefer. On the two button device, you get two rows of eight characters each for each button. So you know if there's two sets, that would require four lines of information being filled out in those cells to the bottom right on the form. And of course, on the four button switch, you would have all eight rows filled out if you were looking at two lines of information per button. These forms must be completed, saved individually under unique names, and then attached to an email to be sent into customer service, if that's the way that the order is being placed. If you're on another larger project that has a project manager here at Leviton, then you submit these completed forms to to the project manager and they will arrange for ordering. So I have a wall plate assembled with the color change kit white two button. I also have a two gang uh, set up with two two button switches mounted to that wall plate. Also on the table are three gang, five gang, and a six gang wall plate. If your project requires that, then we have another form that must be filled out and submitted. This is an automated PDF form that has some rules applied. Once again, it's imperative that we fill this electronic version of the form out, save it and submit it. You'll notice that the form is pretty much the same. It's the exact same fields for bill to, ship to, order, project information. Where the form starts to change is where the form have the diagram in the center of the page that denotes or conveys what size of wall plate you're going to be ordering. As you check the check boxes, 
for, let's say, a three gang, the colors that are available in that three gang wall plate will then appear further down on the form for the color choices. The reason for this is that not every plastic color is available in all multi-gang sizes. When you get to the five and six gang wall plates, we actually are limited in the number of colors, uh, white being one of them, and I believe light Ahmed is the other. But the form will tell you that. And also you'll notice on the form that we only show two rows of information underneath of the diagram of the wall plates. The reason for this is we're hiding the unnecessary cells. So it defaults to the single gang, which gives you only two rows of 12 characters each. As you select two, three, or four gang, the number of cells for information expands, increases, and the colors will change accordingly. So for each multi-gang wall plate that you have to order, you need to complete one of these forms and submit it. As you check that checkbox as well, the part number on the part number key will change and update itself to match what you've selected. And this is, uh, once again, another rule that helps to make sure that you're ordering the correct uh, Green Max multi-gang snap-on wall plate. Complete the form, save it as a unique number, make sure that if you have a, if you selected a six gang wall plate, you have also submitted six individual forms for the button engraving information for those individual devices. Make note of this on the notes line. Make sure that you are identifying the relationship between this form and the six individual forms that are associated with this station. If all of this information is completed and entered accurately, you will have satisfactory experience with our engraving process. Any mistakes, we're going to engrave it exactly as you filled it out. So be aware that you need to be accurate and complete and all things will go well. That completes the overview of the Green Max engraving process. One form per device, multiple stations have a unique form. Fill it out electronically. No handwritten forms will be accepted. We will reject those. All the Green Max engraving forms are available on the Leviton website at the address shown on the screen. Thank you for your time.